What a privilege and honor to worship at your throne, to be called into your presence as a own. Oh, you are holy, oh, so holy. You are holy, oh, so holy. Good day to you there. It's a privilege to be here with you today and to be in the presence of God with you. My name is Mary Macaulay. I'm a pastor of Divine Sanctuary in Croydon, a branch of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in the United Kingdom. The topic before us today says learning from heaven's worship. Our Bible passage is taken from 2 Samuel chapter 6, verses 20 to 22. The book of Samuel, the second one, the chapter 6, verses 20 to 22. Then David returned to bless his household. And Michal, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David and said, How glorious was the king of Israel today, uncovering himself today in the eyes of the maids of his servants, as one of the base fellows shamelessly uncovers himself. <laughs> so David said to Micah, It was before the Lord who chose me instead of your father and all his house to appoint me ruler over the people of the Lord over Israel. Therefore, I will play music before the Lord, and I will be even more dignified than this, and will be humble in my own sight. But as for the maid servants of whom you have spoken, by them I will be held in honor. Mm. A memory verse is in that second Samuel chapter 6, verse 22. I will be even more undignified than this and will be humble in my own sight. But as for the maid servant of whom you have spoken, by them I will be held in honor. In the book of Revelation chapter 4 verses 9 to 11, the Bible says, whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him, who lives forever and ever, and they cast their crowns before the throne, say, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. I want to say today that it is the ignorance and the absence of knowledge of this saying about God that makes people not to know that it is a privilege, number one, to be in the presence of God, two, to worship Him, and to worship Him with their whole heart. We need to learn from the example of these 24 elders who will vacate their seat and cast down their crowns to worship before the Lord. That seat that you are vacating may be the, the seat of being disappointed in your relationship, in your career, or it may be the seat of just getting married or just being promoted. You see, that example of the 24 elders must guide us wherever we are worshiping the Lord. From the Bible passage that we read today, that was also the pattern that David adopted when he cast down his throne and paraphernalia of office and forgot about himself and does shamelessly before the Lord, who is the King of Kings. You see, the Lord himself, who appoints and dethroned kings, the, he, he forgot that about himself and humbled himself in the presence of the Lord, in humble adoration to the Lord. His wife, Micah, the daughter of Saul, who has been accustomed to royal protocol and condor, rebuked him for dancing before his Lord and Creator. But David said he would not be bothered what the servants think about his dancing before the Lord. Because then David understood that it was God who brought him out of the Mary clay, out of the wilderness of life to the wonderness of life. Hence, he determined to continue to praise the Lord for the rest of his life. Are you in a position of authority like some people now? And it's just too big. It's just too big to honor God. Remember, he created you. The breath inside you, he gave you. Are you in a position of mourning right now? Do you know when the life that God has given you is still there? That is all. I pray that in the mighty name of Jesus, you will reap the fruit of gratitude, of thanksgiving, of praise, of dancing in whatever situation that happens. And you will not be barren like Michael was in the mighty name of Jesus. Shed the pride, come into his presence. Remember, 
you have not come to worship God but yourself. And as you do, it will take you higher or take you out of that Marie clay. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Praising God with your whole heart. In Jesus' name. Bye-bye.